What's going on guys? My name is Essence and welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you're back, we do fun things here, but you already knew that. And today I am showing you my mini twist. I actually never filmed a video on this, but I do have some pictures on my Instagram. So if you want to go check those out, you can check those out. But I'm going to show you how I achieve them today. If you are watching this video during this quarantine locked up time then i hope that we're just able to chill we're just able to talk maybe i can inspire you to do some mini twists i'm doing mini twists because it's pretty much a style where i can just do and i can leave it for a little while i don't really feel like doing my hair to be quite honest because where am i really going but <laughs> also on top of that i'm kind of just done walking around the house looking like this I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I'm using. Now keep in mind, my hair right now is already moisturized. I have a video that I just filmed on how I moisturize and detangle my hair. It's a little chit chat video, so definitely go and watch that. Okay, so here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need a spray bottle. You're also gonna need something to detangle your hair. I chose a Denman brush because it detangles and it also brings some definition. I never ended up using the Extreme Wet Line Gel. The braid lock and twist gel from African Pride was all that I needed for the hold and for the definition of the style. I also used hair ties, so grab a few of those. Those are gonna help stretch out your hair a little bit. Watch to the end for that. And then I also just used my fine tooth comb for parting my hair in the very front. A quick thing to keep in mind is that I do have a lot of hair. I know I say that a lot of my videos if you've watched me before, but I have a lot of hair and my strands are thick. So my mini twists may look different than yours. Just keep that in mind again. If you're somebody who has thinner, finer hair, less dense hair, then just definitely think about the way that you're sectioning your hair. I'm gonna take these twists out and I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. So, I'm gonna put on a movie or a show or something or a YouTube video and yeah, just watch me take out my hair. Okay, so my hair is all out now. Um, Obviously I have a mirror over here, uh, so that's why I'm kind of looking down here. But we are all here, we're tangled, we're moisturized, we're ready to go. I hope that you enjoy, I hope that you learn something, and I hope that you do some mini twists too, you get inspired yourself. Okay guys, so I am done about here down, maybe I would say 25 to 30%. Um, this is what it's looking like so far. So I found a pretty good system. Um, I do spritz my hair with water, which I didn't plan to do, but I definitely want a little bit of curl definition instead of like a more fluffy look. I want more of a sleek look, so I spritzed it with water. Then I put this braid lock twist gel on the strand, which is definitely very sticky. And then this is what I come out with. So this one hasn't fully shrunken yet. You can see um, I definitely twisted much tighter from here to here. But anyways, you can see like how this one looks and then the ones that shrunk where it is there. So this one will probably shrink up a little bit more like these. This is a chubbier one. You can see where it ends. Now that I'm done this, this portion of my hair, I take... Um, a hair tie do a nice like firm ponytail in the back what it's going to do is help the hair to stretch out a little bit while i'm twisting the rest so that it doesn't all keep shrinking as i work my way up to the top so in increments i put hair ties just to like keep it a little bit stretched i'll take this one and put it about halfway down like that so one at the top one kind of in the middle and then that keeps that away i'll work on the rest the rest of my hair going up and do pretty much the same thing yeah looking a little bit crazy a little bit zoomed in the sun has pretty much gone down it's on the other side of my house now 
but we still have we still have a good amount of light for me to be able to show you where I am so the rest of my hair is all like tied back pinned back everything like that like I said it's kind of stretching out a little bit and then I just wanted to show you where I am in the front here back is just like a hand kind of part nothing crazy and all I've been doing is just parting like the rows like that with the comb just to have it lay down a little bit neater but even when I part one even as I part one row here I don't part individual squares I just freehand it as well because again I kind of feel like mini twists should be you know like a little bit more free and whatever I also did some flat twists here on the side one of them is like way too chunky now, like this one I'm gonna have to go back and redo but I did some flat twists on the side and you can see this twisting gel is like very sticky and tacky so you can see where I use like more like right here it's a little bit flat like this one I use a lot my hair is not thinning I promise um, I just use way more twist I applied more twisting gel here and I didn't here so if I wanted to thin them out um, or make them a little bit tinier I would just add a little bit more gel to make them a little bit more fine okay so now I have a middle part which I'm probably not ever gonna wear my hair down like this because I have the flat twist here but I do have a middle part I'm gonna use the viewfinder as a mirror am I no I'm gonna use my mirror so I'm just gonna go in with my comb here and I'm gonna part it down There's my part, and then I'm just gonna spray the whole section. And then use my Denman brush again, which is gonna add um, a little bit more definition to the curls. And then from there, I just grab a piece from the top this is a little bit, that's a little bit big, so grab a piece from the top like that. Take my clamp, pin it away. If you hear any like weird sounds in the background, um, my husband and my son are watching a movie downstairs. I'm gonna grab some of the twisting gel. I'm gonna make sure I get the root so that it's nice and neat. And this twisting gel just really like flattens my hair out, like you'll see. I'm being very generous with it again because I am at the top of my hair of my head look at this I could see how it's almost like kind of stringy like that I'm gonna go ahead here twisting it nice and fine because again when I let up and let go of the twist it is gonna puff up a little bit not a lot because the gel will keep it in but it will kind of puff up a little bit so I'm gonna go almost all the way down to about there give it a little ring here and then just leave it so where is it this is what it looks like now very skinny and scanty and ugly and I'll show you what it looks like when it kind of shrinks up a little bit also keep in mind to be very careful if you're choosing to comb or brush your hair after you put this gel in because it does make your hair like hard and firm and you don't want to be like ripping out any hair or anything like that even as you're separating your hair with your fingers just be really careful so i only have this section here to go which should be should be about two or three more rows shouldn't take me too long i'm gonna go stand in my mirror and complete it and then i'll come back and show you guys the finished product hopefully i still have some kind of light so that way i can just show you it today and i don't have to go into tomorrow but either way i'll see you soon okay guys i was able to catch a little bit of light a little bit of sun i am all done i'm gonna take out the back i have not taken out the back as i said i put them in little ponytails i have not taken those out since i tied them up so i don't know how long they are how whatever they are let's just take out everything give it a little shake ah. and this is the finished product. I may or may not fix that chunky one because I mean at the end of the day who am I gonna see? Nobody. Close up. This is how long it is. My hair definitely grew 
And yeah, that's how it looks, guys. Okay guys, so I really, really like it. This is my favorite mini twist, or this is my favorite like set of mini twists that I've ever done out of like the three that I've ever done. But I really like it for a few reasons. Number one, I love the fact that the twist and gel is like a one-stop shop. It gives me hold, it gives me definition, and it's giving me shine. Like my hair is, yeah, my hair is nice and shiny. Again, because I do have so much hair and my hair is super thick, um, I don't go for like the fluffy look because like I already end up looking fluffy. I guarantee you in like three days, I'm gonna look fluffy. So um, I love that it's, it's giving me like super sleek, you know, vibes. Don't don't be too afraid when you're doing it if it's a little bit thin at first if you're using water it will puff up a little bit if you have any questions about mini twists questions about the product that i use questions about the technique if you're gonna try it then definitely hit me up in the comments down below um, i'll respond to you pretty much right away or go ahead and hit me up on instagram i'll leave my information down here follow me dm me and i answer people pretty quickly on instagram as well so you can go ahead and ask me any questions there and that is it so thank you guys so much for watching um let me know if you've done mini twist if you're gonna do mini twist or what your quarantine go-to hairstyle is and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one